Long argued for Wisconsin to decertify the 2020 presidential election results, then was kicked out of her assembly caucus. Now State Representative Janelle Branchin eyes a new job in the state Senate. Our Sam Kramer joins us live from the 8th District in Bayside with a look at this race, which is a bit more interesting now, Sam. Yeah, hi there, Steph. Alberta Darling has really represented this district, which spans four counties for the last three decades. Her resignation opens the door for a newcomer, but with a state party really at a crossroads, this race can help define its future. From one chamber to another. We're here to save lives. State Representative Janelle Branchin says the best place for her to serve is now in the 8th State Senate District. The announcement comes just weeks after Republicans removed Branchin from their assembly caucus, citing continual issues that led them to lose trust in her. She spent the last two years calling for Wisconsin to decertify its 2020 presidential election results. Her statement Monday reads, quote, I can guarantee that I will continue to fight for the principles that every American shares, though another candidate and current state representative and, says uh, he's so better for the job. Well. The primary uh, voters are going to have to decide uh, who can be the most effective. That's Republican Dan Knodel of Germantown. Being uh, effective in the legislature is really comes down to relationships with the other legislators. And uh, I enjoy having very strong working relationships. A third candidate, 21-year-old college student Robert Albrightson, is running as a Republican, too. But TW Milwaukee Professor Emeritus Mordecai Lee, this primary could be more about the future of the Republican Party in Wisconsin. There really are two Republican parties in Wisconsin. One of them sort of election-denying Trumpish. The other one sort of old-fashioned conservative, uh, a little bit more on the moderate side. As Republicans look to keep a Senate supermajority in Madison. Now, Branchin did not respond to our request for a comment today. So far, no Democrats have announced their intentions to run in this race. But ultimately, it is the voters who will decide first 11 weeks, if you can believe it, from tomorrow at the February 21st primary before the spring election on April 4th. We're live tonight in Bayside. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Getting right back into that election mode. All right, Sam, thank you.